by the government on this campus. Hashtag Campus Carry Now. Well, the photo went viral online, and Kent State University graduate Caitlin Bennett joins us right now from Cleveland. Good morning, Caitlin. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Why did you want to take that picture? I wanted to take the picture because I wanted to take a jab at the insulting policies that Kent State has regarding arming their students. I wanted them to know that it was unacceptable for them to let guests carry, but not students. It's it. You know, it doesn't make sense to me. Well, uh, according to the uh, Kent State website, the university has rules against students, faculty, and staff carrying any deadly weapons. What's your problem with that? My problem is that it's kind of insinuating that they care more about the lives of their guests than the lives of their students that spend four or more years on that campus. If guests can arm themselves and protect themselves, I should be able to as well. Why did you want to care? I know you've graduated, so this is uh, just a hypothetical question, but why did you want to carry a, a gun on campus? Uh, simply to express my Second Amendment right. Um, also, I am the founder of a club on, on Kent State campus, Liberty Hangout, and we were doing an event where we just opened a, a discussion to people to come talk to us about gun rights, and my cameraman got assaulted. If we had a firearm present on us, open carried, I definitely believe that wouldn't have happened. What's the reaction been like? It's been crazy. Um, I was not expecting the blatant racism that's been thrown at me, the right out death threats. Uh, just What the, kind of the racism? Calls. So they're saying that I have white privilege uh, for going out on campus with my AR-10. They are saying that this all has to do about uh, me being white, that I was able to do this. I think that's very insulting to minorities. I don't think that um, you know anything bad would happen to them. I actually had a, a black police officer with me the whole time that was just, he loved it. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's just insulting. So the, the reason you did not get in trouble where you're carrying that AR-10 is because you had graduated the day before. Had you been a student, you would have, what, been arrested or gotten a talking to? Yeah, so I would have been uh, going against uh, conduct, student conduct, and um, I can't even imagine what would have happened to me. Right. Okay, so of the online reaction, what percentage has been positive and what percentage has essentially called you the world's worst person? Oh, it's so hard to say because, you know, there's a tweet going around about, uh, you know, me being a school shooter with 500,000 likes on it. But, you know, like I said, my, my inbox is blowing up. I right. don't know how many messages I have, but, you know, I would say most of it is good. Would you do it again? I would do it again, and I wish that I could do it with a fully automatic machine gun. And, uh, you know, I think that those should be legal, and if I could, I would absolutely do it again. All right. Caitlin, what are you going to do now that you graduated? Well, uh, luckily, because of all this media attention, uh, Blue Target Firearms in Ohio reached out to me and offered me a job. So I think that's amazing. Um, I, you know, I'm going to continue my political activism on campus since I will be living in the area. And But this time, I'll be able to be armed. Look at that. She just graduated from Kent State, Caitlin Bennett. Caitlin, thank you very much for sharing your story today. Thank you. So what do you think about that? Email us, friends at foxnews.com, or tweet us, or Facebook. Meanwhile, remember this campaign ad that we showed you yesterday? We have our bus tour ready to go, but it's not going to be one of those pansy political bus tours. We've got the deportation bus. We showed you that yesterday, and that's when YouTube called that ad hate speech and took it down. This morning, the candidate firing back. And it's the audio clip driving the internet and all of us crazy. Laurel. 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 I still hear Laurel, but a lot of you listening right now heard Yanni this morning, the people who created it, settling the debate once and for all. You're going to want to hear that. But first, we're wishing a happy birthday to Bob Saget. He is 62 today.